This is a video response to um, Nokia Man 2002, his um, video entitled A Message to All Freeman. Um, you look like a, a genuine bloke, you're obviously a police officer, um, you appear to be looking for answers um, uh, with regards to the, uh, the Freeman position. Um, I can understand your confusion. Um, the, the Freeman position is basically at odds with everything you've learned as as a police officer um, uh, all your training, all your conditioning um, and yeah I can totally understand that um, <clears throat> one thing that comes across in your videos um, very strongly is that you have um, some very strong beliefs and opinions um, but have you really examined where those beliefs and opinions come from? What if I told you that uh, the television, the newspapers, um, popular fiction, schools um, and, and even your training, they're all complicit in um, trying to present the world in a, from a particular view, um, showing, showing the world in just one, from one, one viewpoint. <clears throat> have, you, have you actually looked into where um, taxpayers' money goes? You seem to, seem to believe it, it goes in certain places, but have you actually checked it out? Um, you know, who pays for the roads? You, you, again, you seem to believe you know where, um, where that money comes from, but have you actually looked into it? Um, what about, uh, and yeah, you also say about the NHS, same thing. Have you looked into it? Um, I would suggest, and I, again, I don't mean to be uh, derogatory or anything, um, but rather than um, studying videos, perhaps you should study some legal dictionaries, Hansard's, um, Halsbury's Laws of England, um, Archibald's, even the statutes themselves. Um, that will start actually giving you a... a a real view of what the what the free man position is, um, with no ambiguity. Um, you can't deny or uh, you can't um, debunk what we believe because it's written there in black and white by the people who supposedly make all these laws laws in inverted commas. Okay, let's get down to your uh, to your question, shall we? Um, uh, okay, uh, your questions are kind of. Um, ramble on a bit, but uh, I don't know. I don't mean that sort of in a rude way. But uh, um, the question one was about consent. You said you you made a statement to say consent is automatic. Consent can never be automatic. It's it, it's a question. You know, um, do you consent? Yes or no? No. I mean, that, that's it. It's it's a question. Um, you can't lawfully dictate that somebody's going to automatically consent to something unless there's a, uh, a, a contract there. If you've signed a contract saying, I specifically consent to something, yes, it's automatic after that. But unless there's a contract you could hold up and show, no, consent isn't automatic. Um, your actual question there was, um, at what point do you give consent? <clears throat> well, when you're asked for it. Simple as that. Again, it's a question. Um, uh, so, so when is that? When are you asked for consent? Okay, um, as part of the charging process for a police officer, um, a police officer has a, a, a legal requirement to, um, to ask. Uh, or, or say something like this, um, I'm charging you for doing 45 miles an hour in a, uh, a 30 miles an hour zone. Do you understand? Well, that, that question is, is deceptively asking for consent because um, the word understand is being used in its legal context. Now, if you look up the word understand in a legal dictionary, you'll find that it, it actually means stand under to accept to be bound by, to um, uh, agree to, to, uh, to, to consent essentially. So by asking that question and receiving, um, asking that question in, um, you know, in natural English, as so it seems, 
the, uh, the person being charged uh, naturally assumes that you're asking, do you comprehend the words that are coming out of my mouth, when what you're actually saying is, do you consent to these charges? There you go. Um, asking for consent, a question, and getting an answer, yes, usually. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, that, that's question one. Question two, I believe, let's have a look. Um, again, there was a, a, a bit of uh, stuff going on there when you were asking. Um, uh, you, you're saying something about so whether um, if, if the three man stuff works, well, you know, why are people getting arrested? Um, you're, you're actually right. I mean, it's not that easy um, to, to get out of this because it, it is a system. It's a system designed um, to, to extract money from people and not let people get out of it because they obviously want to maximize their, their amount of profit here. Um, people are being arrested, the reason people are being arrested is because um, police aren't educated in law. They're not. A um, number of times I've spoken to police, police um, they've said they've got a working knowledge of the law and I, I suspect they've uh, even got less than that. Um, I, I rather suspect you have a, uh, a narrow gu guidelines in which to work in and you, you work in a kind of flow chart type manner. Um, the courts as well are, are a game of chess. Um, this game relies on the ignorance um, of, of the people and the fact that uh, the, the, the language, uh, the legislation is written in a foreign language, legalese. Um, there's the, uh, there's the, um, uh, the trick in itself. Um, legalese is, well, it looks like English, it sounds like English, but a lot of the words are redefined to mean something else. So it's there purely for deception. If, um, you know, if, <laughs> if it wasn't, there wouldn't be a, um, these legal dictionaries showing what the words are redefined to. Um, so it is, it's just, it's just deception. Um, and as I said, courts are, are like a game of chess. Um, but nevertheless, I have seen, um, personally, several cases dismissed um, because the court is increasingly coming up against um, people who are, uh, are getting better educated uh, about the law and are better chess players. So um, there are people who, are, who have um, stood by this position um, who aren't people who've uh, just watched, watched videos. They've done, done the research, done, um, studied like crazy over a number, a number of years. I, I, I don't want to name names, but um, if you, um, I will. I'll, I'll name some first names, but uh, if you're in the Freeman community, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, Guy, Andy. Adam, um, several people, I mean, I could go on. Um, all these people have, have had cases dismissed um, because they've stuck by the guns. Um, so that's question two. Question three, you mentioned, uh, you talk about road tax. Um, well, road tax is a misnomer, uh, more accurately, a, a deception. Um, Road tax was actually abolished in 1937. 1937. Um, we, we, we now pay uh, something called vehicle excise duty, which has nothing to do with roads. Um, road tax, anyway, only ever pr paid a, a fraction of, of what the roads cost to repair, etc. Um, what, uh, the way that uh, roads are funded is the tax on petrol. So it's got nothing to do with road tax or vehicle excise duty. There are, there are websites, if you go and have a look, you'll find all the information. It's a, it's a very interesting website um, that shows Winston Churchill's opposition to uh, uh, road tax. Um, again, look into these things. Don't just go by what, what you, you, you understand from um, this uh, you know, so supposed common, common knowledge. Um, bloke down a pub told me, you know. It's um, you, you go on the web or, or go into a library and look look these things up. 
Um, anyway, uh, on, in the same vein, your question four, um, the N NHS isn't funded by taxpayers. It's funded by your national insurance. If you work, you pay national insurance. That pays for the NHS. Um, our taxes, all of them, all the hidden stealth taxes, go to pay for things like our, our fictional national debt. Um, it pays for EU membership. Um, and, and most of all, the, uh, the wholesale slaughter of, of innocent people across the world. Innocent foreign civilians. Just normal people going about their business, getting bombed from, um, by predator dr drones and, and such like. Um, and, and a whole host of other things that we have no say in. Um, you asked, uh, again at the end of your video, what's the point? If we're all going to get arrested, what is the point? The point is, we uh, have started to realise that we are slaves in this system. The system is there to milk us like cows. Yeah, There are 65,000 laws or statutes on, on the books. And ignorance doesn't excuse you. So every day you're breaking laws. You don't know about it. There's, there's one of these 65,000 laws applies to you. Uh, uh, not just me, to you as well, to, to you police officers. Now, I have an enormous amount of respect for, for police officers. Um, or should I say police constables? I've got to remember to say that. I have enormous respect for you police constables. You, uh, most of you, um, joined up um, in a genuine attempt to, to help people and help society. And, and from, from some of your, your words, um, I, I assume you're one of them. A genuine attempt to, to do good in the world. But like many of us uh, in other, other jobs, we find that um, our, our work has been corrupted. You know, we find that we're doing, um, we're doing things that aren't helping people. We have natural God-given rights. But this system has persuaded us to waive those rights for the benefit of, of this society. These benefits aren't benefits. They're made to seem like benefits, but they're all liabilities. They all, they all work against us. They're not, the system isn't for us. The system is, is to allow a wealthy elite, a parasitic elite, to continue in their lap of luxury, supported by all of us working our asses off to keep them where they are. That's it. No more than that. We've given up our rights. Um, mainly because we don't know what our rights are. And this is where the freemen come in. Because we're trying to make sure that those rights don't disappear. We only have the rights we know how to claim.